Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 19th April, the Pillar Navy or PLAN has released a footage of a missile fired from its heavily armed Type 055 cruiser. The missile seems to be YJ-21 anti-ship ballistic missile which makes the Type 055 the most heavily armed warship in the world. The YG-21 anti-ship ballistic missile has resemblance to the CM-401 missile design but a smaller diameter and a larger booster phase. The Chinese CM-401 is a hypersonic anti-ship ballistic missile with a range up to 290 km and terminal active radar homing guidance. The missile is very similar to Russian Iskander missile. The CM-401 is based on the base variant B611 which is a Chinese solid fueled short range ballistic missile. This missile has also been sold to Turkey under the transfer of technology. Till now there were no information available regarding the new Chinese YJ-21 missile as China has not announced officially regarding the test of this missile. If we closely observe the footage released by Chinese media we could see the cold launch of a possible two-stage missile which means it could be an anti-ship ballistic missile along with hypersonic glide vehicle. The control surfaces are rather small which means this is likely not an anti-air missile. According to the open source data, the VLS fitted aboard Type 055 cruiser can accommodate missiles with a measurement of 9 meters in length and diameter of 0.85 meters. The missile was fired from a Type 055 Ren High class cruiser and with 8 warships of this class in service, it will boost the China's anti-access or area denial capabilities in the ocean. Another interesting footage on social media platforms where we could see a huge missile on the center line of Xi'an X6N bomber certainly appears to be related to YJ-21 or Eagle Strike 21 which is based on land-based anti-ship ballistic missile CSS-5 Mod-5 popularly known as DF-21D. The DF-21D missile dubbed as the carrier killer initially follows the ballistic trajectory similar to the strategic nuclear ballistic missiles then leaves the atmosphere and re-enters to release a re-entry vehicle that propels down to hit an aircraft carrier. The HG-6N is again based on the long-range strategic bomber of Soviet-era Tu-16 Badger which has been tailored for long-range strategic missions aided by its aerial refueling capability. The aircraft has been modified for the carriage of outside loads which can carry now not only anti-ship ballistic missile but also high-speed drone aircraft and potentially hypersonic boost glide vehicles. As per the March 8 Congressional Research Service CRS report on China's naval capabilities, top US commanders think China's arsenal of anti-ship ballistic missiles can strike moving targets. The YG-21 or the DF-21D differs from conventional MRBMs in the way that they can maneuver dynamically during the re-entry and can target huge vessels during the terminal phase of the flight. The air-launched anti-ship ballistic missiles, the ship-launched YJ-21s and the ground-based DF-21D missiles are part of China's anti-access and area denial capabilities which will keep the US aircraft carrier strike groups at a distance far enough from Chinese shores to make their fighter aircraft and cruisers useless. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.